Hello guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back. So guys, uh, today I'm going to cover one of the important topic that uh, what do you mean by DevOps? Okay, it's uh, it's not nothing related to automation and it's not related to QA, but it's a general practice in any IT company, especially like uh, for infrastructure setup point of view and all those things. We use these terms uh, from last two, three years. This term is very famous in the market now that what is DevOps? What do you mean by DevOps? What are the different processes of DevOps? What kind of activities we perform in DevOps and everything? Okay, so today we are going to cover that why DevOps, what is DevOps? Why DevOps is important for automation engineers? And how exactly you can switch your profile from manual to DevOps or automation to DevOps? It's very interesting and automation with DevOps, it's a great combination in the industry these days. Okay, so let's start. So guys, for DevOps, I'll tell you that, uh, first of all, this is the process of DevOps that uh, I would say like this. So this is a process of DevOps. So what do you mean by DevOps? So in the word itself, that DevOps means development plus operation work. So what exactly was happening earlier in the industry that around five years back when DevOps activities were not there. So developers, let's say I'm a developer, I'm the Java developer, I'm building one uh, one application and then I'm deploying on some somewhere on some server and it's a manual deployment is happening and then i merge the code and everything into svn repository or some because that time git was not there and maybe some svn or pbacs these kind of uh, repository tools source control management tools were there and i merged the code and then i deploy or uh, deploy it on some server and, and then i'll give it to the qa folks and the qa folks also they will set up that complete test environment downloading all the jar files and complete build path and everything and then set up the all the packages and everything on the Tomcat environment or any any kind of uh, servers they are using maybe weblogic or uh, you know uh, websphere or uh, uh, oracle application server or maybe a tomcat or something like that right and then once qa says that okay yes these are the number of issues are there and again a dev team they will give you another build let's say build number two again the qa team or maybe dev team they will deploy on the respective build on the dev environment or qa environment and again we will test it once everything is fine, then we will deploy it on the customer. I mean, on the customer production side, on the production side, right? So now the, that's a very tedious process because every time it's so manual thing, it was not at all continuous delivery process, right? It was very slow. First of all, there are a lot of processes, a lot of manual activities that you have to perform. But now, obviously, uh, industry grows, technology, uh, you know, came into the picture now lot of devops activities are happening so all these things are now done by there is a dedicated team earlier we used to call this team as a release team release management team or something like that who is taking care of uh, all the it infrastructure or maybe who is taking care of all the operations activities right operation in terms of that okay how will you deploy the serve on the server and what kind of servers we need what kind of machines we need and hardware and everything okay but now these days it, this is handling by devops team dev plus operations team so we combine this thing okay development plus operations okay and there are other teams also we have support team is there a qa team is there we all are part of the same agile team okay so how exactly devops work and how exactly uh, the process of devops and first of all we have to understand what is devops so guys let's see this is your company a very simple diagram i can show you let's see this is your company and uh, just a minute yeah so let's see this is your company right and in this company that you are building one app maybe it's a mobile app or maybe any kind of web application and then you are deploying it okay you are deploying it and from deploying it to you are moving on to okay onto a testing environment to make it test and then you are uh, testing it the qa team is testing it and then you are making it release on to the customer on production environment and on production environment, we say that, okay, fine, that, uh, uh, but before production, that this is a testing team, they are working upon it. And testing C team says that, okay, they are giving some kind of feedback to the uh, to the developers that, okay, uh, boss, this is not something right. And these are number of issues are there. So again, what exactly dev team will do that? Dev team will create the new build, will deploy it on the respective environment, and then on the release environment, and then on the production environment. But in between, testing team is there if they are releasing number of bugs, if they are giving number of bugs again and again. 
then we cannot directly deploy it on the custom environment until unless we have zero defect until unless all the issues are resolved so obviously these days a lot of uh, you know uh, big projects are there complex projects are there and testing team is so active and automation things are there automation tools are there in the market now so now what is happening that qa team is obviously raising number of issues and manual team also they are raising the number of issues and there are so many process between dev and qa so many builds are getting okay um, you know will be given to the qa team from dev team so we need some strong process we need some reliable system okay a dedicated team or maybe dedicated tools are there in the market so that uh, we can improve this process and we can uh, you know streamline this particular process and let's see after deploying under the customer environment on the production environment also and production customer say that okay the, you monitor for 2 3 months or maybe 15 20 days how exactly application is behaving and how exactly application is working and on the basis of that again you will monitor you will plan it and then you will move it to your dev team and they you do some enhancements or something like that right guys so this is devops process now what are different tools are there in devops so how exactly you are deploying how exactly you are testing how exactly you are making it deployed on the custom environment or the production environment this is called build and deployment process okay guys so i would say one thing this is called build and deployment process so what do you mean by build and deployment process guys so most important thing they will ask you at a time of interview in fact how exactly your build and deployment process if you are qa automation engineer or manual engineer also doesn't matter they will ask you what is a build and deployment process so my build and deployment process is part of devops activity and somewhere i also know about devops activity i am also participating into devops activity something like that you can say now what exactly the process and what are the advantages of this process so guys number of build tools are available in the market as we know that let's see one build tool is there let's see maven okay then we have jenkins or maybe hudson or maybe team city okay so these are the uh, you know continuous integration uh, tools are available team city is there and gradle is also there okay so what exactly you do that okay this is maven jenkins and this is the thing that you are using okay so all the jenkins setup configurations what kind of different plugins and other uh, you know uh, all these things are required okay on which environment that we have to deploy and everything all these things which is handled by devops team okay devops team dev development plus operations team so developers and qa they will give their inputs that okay this is what uh, the configuration we have and please set up these things okay so all the complete infrastructure as a service so we say that infrastructure as a service okay i would say okay complete infrastructure okay either it will be your maybe it will be your servers or maybe your hardwares everything is handled by this particular team okay everything is handled by devops team so if you go to any product good product companies you, you know if you're going to amazon and or maybe walmart or maybe flipkart okay everybody okay on all, all these companies they are having dedicated devops team okay and the qa and development team they are interacting with this uh, devops team who is taking care of the complete infrastructure part complete setup part now what is the biggest advantage the biggest advantage is that the dev team okay dev team and the qa team is over here so it's a big relief for them they are not taking care of what kind of servers how exactly we have to deploy how exactly we have to uh, uh, you know maintain the infrastructure and the hardware and all those things now i just need to focus on my work i just need to focus on my development and the coding activities okay on my logic and the qa team will be focusing on the testing okay so the complete setup and environment and everything which is handled by these guys now the devops team now okay after devops we have another team that is called site reliability team that is called sre team so that is a different thing okay site reliability team also are sometimes devops part okay but we are not talking about sre team now so guys this is the process of devops okay now there are different uh, very good advantages the biggest advantage is that you can improve the i would say advantages that the first biggest advantage is speed okay you can improve the speed what do you mean by speed <clears throat> that you can improve at uh, you can work at very high velocity 
and uh, you can quickly quick deliverables are there because in agile methodology guys what is happening these days daily basis we have production release every week we have big production releases okay and you can deploy your code immediately the qa environment qa guy will test everything is fine or not and then we will deploy it on the customer environment immediately on the production environment and if this devops team is dedicated is there or devops tools are available and okay are properly designed and properly maintained and proper infrastructure is maintained by this particular team or these devops guys or devops process in that case okay the speed of the delivery will be amazingly good and obviously these days a lot of competition in the market so obviously the speed okay of the deliverables is very very important okay so obviously speed will make you enable that okay dev team and operations team they are working together so dev devops team is a dedicated team they are expert in these kind of tools they are expert in uh, you know different uh, continuous integration tool they are expert in continuous delivery tool they are expert in uh, server configuration they are expert in administrator okay kind of activities and everything they are expert in uh, uh, you know what kind of infrastructure that we need they are expert in hardware configurations and all okay they are expert in how to you know do build and deployment okay how to do build and deployment process okay and they are expert in site reliability team also and they are expert in product support let's see uh and holiday season in christmas season there are a lot of shopping is happening on amazon or flipkart or snapdeal so there is a dedicated support team is available there is a dedicated so they are very good in these okay they should have these kind of okay mindset if you want to become a devops guy then you should have you should know all these kind of okay terminologies all these kind of technologies that you have to learn okay we will we will discuss about how exactly automation engineers they can contribute and it's very easy for them to become these kind of okay to get the expertise on these kind of okay tools and technologies so guys first advantage is that obviously speed that you can improve the speed now the second advantage is that rapid delivery process okay to the customer right now everything is in place you have improved everything there is a separate dedicated team is there okay now what is happening in agile we know that it's not waterfall model in agile methodology guys daily basis new enhancements are there daily basis you are changing something you are getting some uh, feedback from the customer also daily basis you are getting some new bugs so you have to fix it so we need a dedicated process a dedicated environment that i just want to focus on my work development if development team is they are doing all these kind of activities also they are handling the server they are handling all the administrative configuration also infrastructure also hardware also build and deployment process also then when will they work same thing with qa folks also when will they work they cannot work all these things together so obviously it will hamper their work right so in that case for rapid delivery process to the customer point of view we have dedicated team they are expert in these kind of things and then obviously the delivery deliverables will be very fast and we can fulfill our commitment okay towards the customer that is the second advantage now the most biggest advantage is that reliability okay what do you mean by reliability is yes, reliability means ensure the quality of the application obviously that uh, we have to make sure that okay your application is up and running always there are no bugs in the application okay and the infrastructure point of view also let's see the huge amount of load is coming and let's see you have around uh, five dedicated servers and let's say two servers are crashed because of huge amount of the load so we have to make sure that okay your application is reliable your application is available all the time okay so we have to make sure that okay this is a dedicated devops team is there or devops activity and process that we have implemented in our company in our project so that we have to make sure that okay the application reliability is always there okay so reliability we can achieve immediately through continuous integration we always say that okay what is continuous integration so guys this is continuous integration okay continuous i would say integration okay and the continuous delivery this is called continuous delivery okay so this ci cd process is part of your reliability that contains integration contains delivery we are following and we are processing 
okay so that we can um, you know we can um, you know uh, do the rapid uh, rapid uh, deliverables and n number of de deliver deliverables to the customer on the production side without any manual intervention okay so that's why these tools like jenkins came into the picture build and deployment okay pipelines came into the picture and all the stuff okay now the fourth advantage is guys that is called scalability scale you can scale your application at a bigger level okay what do you mean by scale that if you are operating and managing your infrastructure and all the development activities and processes through this particular team okay so obviously that it will reduce your risk risk means if application is getting crashed okay is your infrastructure is getting down or maybe let's see especially on you know big company let's see facebook is there if facebook is not working in india or in bangalore if the server is down immediately another server is ready so immediately you can transfer the load from one server one infrastructure server to another infrastructure server like that so obviously you this is a very high scalable uh, you know uh, technology you can use with the help of devops if the dedicated devops is process is available over there okay so this is the another advantage is, is there okay now another advantage is that the, the most important is that guys security for the security point of view also security of your data security of your confidential data security of your customer customer and confidential information in the customer db right so obviously that you can control in a very powerful way and uh, all the compliances you can uh, you you can follow okay in terms of a devops process so security point of view also that okay in a very good company let's say you are working for bank of america or you're working in some very banking or financial application in that case the security is the most important thing how exactly you're moving your data from one system to another system or to main or mainly some data warehouse or maybe some data center in that case the data is very important so with this process the security is the most important thing that you can achieve okay so guys this is the uh, process now how what are the different processes are there okay i would say these are the major advantages now okay i would i would talk about what are different processes are there okay processes i would say processes in devops the first process is that guys continuous integration as i told you continuous integration ci part continuous integration you can achieve okay with the help of devops process the continuous integration is the kind of i would say it's a kind of practice that what do you mean by continuous integration see continuous integration see guys let's see this is a dev team is here right and uh, there are five developers this okay sorry let's see there are five developers are there this guy this guy three four let's see four developers are there and they are merging their code okay they are merging their code like this okay they are merging their code this is the like this and this is the final version of this particular code right so you have to do the code merge with the help of git or something like that and then you have to deploy the same thing on some server let's see this is a server okay then first first you have to create the build and this build will be deployed on this particular server and then the testing team okay now the testing team will test this particular application okay now the testing team will test this particular application that <coughs> application is working fine or not if there are bugs again what exactly we will do we will assign to the respective developer we will assign to this developer also we will assign to this developer also to this developer also and again they are doing some okay code activities and they are making some changes in due to fixing of bugs and enhancements and everything and again they are merging together and creating a build so again they are creating a build to this guy like this and again this build will be deployed on this server on this particular server right and then qa team is testing this right now again qa team is testing this so guys this is very continuous process again and again we have to do that again these kind of integration and merging is happening in git repositories and all those things so obviously that we need couple of things in that case that okay um everything is happening through git everything is happening through we are using the proper maven build process and everything okay the code merge okay activities are happening okay so all these things are coming under continuous integration right all these things are coming continuous integration okay now the second process is again cd 
continuous delivery what do you mean by continuous delivery again it is a software development practice guys continuous delivery means it's a practice again okay so what do you mean by continuous delivery where we have to make some code changes and we want to make sure that okay continuous delivery is happening without any manual intervention okay without any hurdle without any blockage without any blockers we are doing continuous delivery from dev to production okay so the what is happening guys see very simple example let's see this is a dev environment okay this is a dev environment then we have qa environment then we have uh, let's see staging environment and let's see we have one pre production environment and let's see the here this is we have production environment right this is happening from from here to here <clears throat> okay from here to here from here to here and from to prod to prod environment right so what are different environments we have first we have dev environment in any company we have dev environment then we have qa environment okay then we have qa environment then we have a staging environment or maybe some company they they tell it staging environment or whatever some other environment and let's see we have a uh, pre prod okay pre prod environment is there so this is my pre prod environment and this is the main prod environment i would say customer environment right prod environment the actual environment this is my prod environment so we have to deploy our code from dev to qa qa to staging staging to pre prod and once everything is fine then we have to deploy it on production environment this is called continuous delivery if we are working on qa environment we are testing on qa environment again we have to tell to the developer they will do again the build and build will be given to qa qa to staging staging to pre prod pre prod and pre prod to prod environment so this is the continuous delivery it should not be stopped okay especially into agile methodology so everything is coming under cd part continuous delivery part okay how exactly we are doing continuous delivery part through build and deployment process by using what by using very famous tool we know that jenkins okay we are doing through jenkins or through some jenkins pipelines okay so this is is happening is through this guy right fine another thing is very important in devops i don't know you guys are aware about it that is microservices okay guys what do you mean by microservices see guys microservices mean there are small small services are there okay i'll tell you one example of microservices guys these guys i mean these kind of things you should know about it they might ask you at a time of interview as well as once you are joining some very good product company in fact uh, these are lot of people lot of companies they are okay okay enhancing this feature this process okay now this process process the devops process part of the part of the team now so you have to understand what is what is devops okay so what do you mean by microservices see guys microservices means see these are the small small services let's see get account get account id get account number or maybe some get uh, employee address get employee salary or something like that so these these small small services are there okay available in the system and on top of that let's see this is a system okay this is the system and these are the microservices small small services are there i am not saying these are rest services these are some services okay some processes are, are there which are interacting with the database and everything and on the basis of the request they are performing but on top of that we have this rest api okay let's see this is the get account api get customer api get customer api or get address api or something like that now this is the and this is the client is available over here let's see this is a rest client or postman client or something like that so through this client what exactly we are doing guys we are calling this okay we are calling the service we are calling this rest service right and then from this this particular rest service it's going internally over there and they are calling these services okay so this is is happening this api is calling this service okay this api is calling this service this api is calling this service so these are microservices guys and these are rest apis okay and this is a client or maybe through website or something like that we are calling these rest services so rest under rest services also there are number of microservices 
Now, what is the advantage of microservices? If you have seen Facebook application, right, guys? Facebook, why Facebook never, never goes down? Why? There is no production failure on Facebook, on Google or YouTube. Why? Because everything is built upon in microservices concept. Sometimes what happens, let's see your settings or maybe advertisement section is not coming in, in Facebook. Right? Or maybe some feature is not available that you are not able to send the request or something like that. But it doesn't mean that entire Facebook is down. No. Entire Facebook cannot be down. Why? Because Facebook feature is totally divided into small, small microservices. For settings, we have special microservice. For privacy settings, we have special microservice. For newsfeed, for friend request, for your profile, for photo upload or something like that. For album creation, everything. We have different microservices. For a small, small work, they have created microservices. Now, let's see tomorrow. This is for album upload or photo upload. This microservice is not working. But it doesn't mean it will. Okay. It will. Uh, make it will make down Facebook it will make Facebook down no it will not because only maybe this album service is not working maybe this news feed is not working maybe this advertisement okay we see at the right hand side advertisement section is not coming because this service is down maybe some some any problem or because of some any issue or maybe bug or something it's getting down okay so if you see the YouTube never comes, YouTube never comes down. Maybe you are you are not able to upload some videos, or maybe to maybe you are not able to see some search on YouTube because search microservice is not working properly. But it doesn't mean that it will make down YouTube.com. Now the biggest advantage with e-commerce application, let's see Amazon.com is there. You are not able to see some products in electronics, okay, or maybe some products in uh, uh, or some any other category. Because of that category service is down. Maybe electronic service is down. Okay. But it doesn't mean that it will. The entire site is down. The complete Amazon.com or Flipkart.com is down. Okay. So that is the biggest advantage of the availability. Every time is available to the customer. Okay. So this is this kind of architecture is called microservices architecture guys. Okay. So this is the biggest advantage with microservices. Another. I mean the process. In Microsoft, I mean, the, this is another process in DevOps activity that is called microservices. They might ask you, what do you mean by microservices? Okay. Another thing is that, guys, the fourth option is that, okay, your infrastructure process, infrastructure as code. So, infrastructure as code means this is again the practice in which uh, the infrastructure team or DevOps team is there. They will be using some tools and the technologies, okay. To create your infrastructure okay so now what kind of infrastructure as code like let's see there are some cloud okay applications are available everything is on cloud aws amazon web services okay amazon web services are there okay so infrastructure as a code amazon web services are there or maybe uh, docker is there or some other things which is running on the cloud or which is they are providing some infrastructure there are some companies companies in the market like uh, we have AWS, we have browser stack, we have source labs. They are giving the complete infrastructure to run our automation. Okay. There are hosting services are there, hosting servers and hosting uh, companies are available in the market. So they will be taking care of the complete infrastructure as a code. So this is another process. And let's see, I am working in Walmart and I have given one contract to Amazon or um, uh, let's see Amazon. So Amazon will take care of the complete infrastructure part and in Walmart there will be DevOps act, uh, guys will be there they will log into the AWS application and they will see that okay all the servers and infrastructure is working fine but the, it will be handled what kind of uh, the cost will be I mean what kind of servers configuration will be there what kind of the hardware size will be there and all those things will be there which will be handled by AWS which will be handled by Amazon so Amazon will give the complete infrastructure to you guys and now how you are managing that is up to you you need 10 servers but let's see but you or during uh, diwali season or maybe christmas season or the new season i want 25 servers in that case so you can increase the servers according to your requirement but who will be doing that devops team will be doing that okay so that is another fourth point that is infrastructure as a code right so guys there are some other things like, uh, you know, uh, 
continuous integration as i told you microservices i told you delivery process i told you infrastructure as a code I, as i told you okay <clears throat> there is another pro uh, process that monitoring and logging that is also part of devops what is happening on the production after deployment you have to monitor okay so guys the fifth point i would say monitor and logging okay what kind of different logs are getting generated okay you have to monitor your application that everything is fine or not these services are working fine or not especially in e-commerce application or banking application there are a lot of transactions are happening so you have to monitor your application on the production see guys working on the testing environment or staging environment is a totally different thing as okay functionality is working fine but on the live environment with the millions of hits are coming and number of transactions are happening a lot of integration is happening with the with some third party servers or third party uh, systems in that case the actual use cases will be performed over there okay by the end user how exactly i am adding a payment um, you know in the i'm adding some product in the cart list and i'm doing some payment end to end process is happening or not which service is getting filled which service is taking a lot of time each and everything we are you know we are making make sure that okay how exactly number of logs are getting generated any exceptions are there any 404 error is there any 500 errors are there integration is happening properly or not so we are doing monitoring we are monitoring all these things and on the basis of that we will update our code for the next release right always remember that any product is re releases in the market the product first version is always not that having not that great quality second version is always good okay if you see any first version is not that great quality the second version third version and subsequent versions will be amazingly good why because we are monitoring let's say i am creating an app and i deploy it on android or my ios or app store or uh, play store so first i'll observe how exactly customer is behaving how exactly the reaction is coming from the customer i'll monitor my application first okay i'll check the logs what are different uh, you know features are not working properly how much time it is taking how much time this particular feature is taking okay so monitoring and logging again guys is a important thing in devops process okay and last thing is that communication and collaboration okay that is i would say last point communication and collaboration you have to communicate okay communication and collaboration so obviously you have to increase the communication collaboration within the organization is one of the important cultural aspects of devops guys right that the use of devops tooling and your use of devops process and automation you are doing okay to make sure that okay you are doing deliverables properly so there's a coordination between devops guys coordination between the development guys coordination between the infrastructure team uh support team qa team they all are working together so the communication is very important and the collaboration between <clears throat> among all these things i mean all these stakeholders and uh, all these uh, guys and the folks okay you have to you should be on the same page level right now fine so now the last important thing can i switch to devops yes you can can i switch uh, a manual guy or uh, to devops yes you can automation yes so now guys let's see you are an automation engineer over there you are doing some uh, front end automation plus back end automation using selenium or any other tool okay i would say <clears throat> qa automation you are doing okay you are this guy you are sitting over here so you are expert in this thing right you this is your portfolio you are expert in to in these things okay you are expert in these things and this is the complete devops activities is there right and this is you you this is your portfolio now if you learn this thing including front end automation back end automation and some this thing then i think you are good to go easily you can do that it's a very good scope in the market now i mean some problem okay so guys this is a thing is the best thing that you can do that and this thing is very much going on in the market 
and a uh, lot of companies they are preferring if you're having some uh, test automation experience as well as a uh, devops experience also okay they will prefer so yes the biggest advantage with devops that you don't need to do any programming or any kind of uh, uh, the script that you have to write or framework that you have to design no it's all about the mindset devops is mindset couple of things that you have to sh make sure that okay what is contains integration contains delivery what kind of server knowledge and administrative work infrastructure what kind of hardware knowledge what are different tools like you have to learn jenkins how to set up jenkins how to set up the servers how to create the build and deployment pipeline so that i can give the same pipeline to the to the developers and the qa guys so that their life will be very easy okay so devops means complete operations work okay we have to make sure that okay how exactly uh, application is behaving on the uh, uh, you know at the customer side at the production side okay all the services are up and running all the database are up and running my data is completely secured or not so these are the culture that you have to adopt you have to, you have to learn about all these things so number of tools like we have to learn about how exactly the maven configuration how exactly git works how exactly jenkins works okay for the for the mobile development also you don't need to write any code guys you you are uh, you should not be i mean any expert in programming in, in if, if you really want to grow your career in, in devops but in devops the most important thing all these things are happening through tools we have to learn tools the build tools the deployment tools okay you have to learn about the cloud technologies and everything okay if you are you can do these things with this back end automation front end automation amazing profile at the same time you can do some front end automation or back end you can write you can design your framework and which will be part of your continuous integration process the same if you can, if you see this diagram this is a developer guy they are building it and the same time this is a test automation is running okay so you can integrate your test automation with jenkins the same pipeline and everything is fine then you are releasing on the cust uh, to the customer side and to the production side right so you know this complete process also and you know that what is the see you can see that this is a delivery pipeline in this particular pipeline you know how to do a build you know how to test through automation okay so that you can save a lot of time and you know how to release on the production side the complete pipeline also you know you know how to monitor and how to plan okay like uh, logging logging and monitoring also so this is a very good profile for you guys okay because you you understand what is automation all these things were happening earlier manually one dedicated team release team is there they were using some here and there some uh, internal tools they were deploying on the customer it was so difficult to monitor the things if you see the stock exchange any nsc or bsc application these applications are so complex so in these things these these kind of processes are amazingly good right so a lot of cost you can save lot of uh, infrastructure uh, uh, process you can implement okay and you and the dev team and the qa team they just need to focus on their respective work on their business logic is that i have to write a good amount of good logic of code i mean good good not good amount of code good logical code i have to write right guys so this is what we have to if you really want to grow your career from uh, manual testing to devops or automation to devops easily you can do that okay so there are number different uh, uh, in fact if you really don't want to com uh, switch to devops completely but if you have such kind of knowledge it will be a great advantage for you guys okay especially for automation qa guys or no doubt for manual qa also if you know at the time of interview you say that okay i know this complete process what exactly devops what kind of uh, uh, the infrastructure and the devops activities and operations activities even i can contribute because i have seen uh, in most of the companies qa team is also involved into these kind of activities into devops activities devops processes and, and okay these things okay some people they are very interested into docker and jenkins and uh, you know chef and puppet gradle they have already developed their own build and deployment pipeline and everything so so it's really good and i would definitely advise you that uh, uh if you are good in automation and uh, if you really want to switch to uh, devops you can switch or if you want to maintain the same profile in automation but if you want to enhance 
you want to add a couple of skills in your portfolio in your resume you can write all these things it will make your resume very strong okay definitely it will be a great value addition in your profile okay and devops is the future guys okay so think about it and uh, if you have any questions feel free to ask me through comments definitely i'll write the questions whatever the knowledge i have in terms of devops because i am doing devops from from last uh, four five years okay i know what is the jenkins and everything and what kind of tools and technologies in my previous company in fact in current company also i'm contributing okay i'm in backend automation architect also and same time i'm doing all these stuff so uh, same thing you can do also and it's a great value addition okay so guys uh, that's all for this uh, thing so this is the purpose of uh, to explain that what is devops and uh, let me know if you have any issues and you can take the screenshot of this uh, you know this diagram and before the interview process and before the interview you can prepare your interview also with respect to devops okay so thank you so much and if you really like this video guys please subscribe to the channel and uh, and share with others with your friends and uh, in your with your colleagues and let me know if you have any issue <coughs> thank you so much guys thanks a lot